What's up YouTube? This is Mike Lovelace. Thanks for checking out our food and travel channel. Today we're going to show you how to cook spatchcock chicken and baby back ribs in just a tad over an hour on our Santa Maria grill from Shirley Fabrication. Check us out. Watch some B-roll. I'm getting ready to come back with me and my son and tell you a little bit more, but check us out. This is one of my best cooks ever. What's up, Facebook? This is Mike Lovelace. This is, this is my son, Anthony. How you doing, Anthony? Good. Hey, we just got back from church, and last night we had an awesome cook on this thing back here. This is the scent, Santa Maria by Shirley Fabrication. It's also got a vertical smoker over here on this side. But, man, the cook last night was incredible. The first actual cook I've done on the Santa Maria since I've had it, and that's been about nine months, well, six months. Uh, but, hey, we just want to talk about what an awesome cook it was. This guy normally doesn't like ribs, and he loved the baby back ribs we did. He also loved the chicken. Anthony, what did you think about the ribs? I, I loved them. I thought they were very awesome. Hey, what did you think about the chicken? They were very awesome. Very awesome. All right, guys, we're getting ready to show the video here. Uh, you can fast forward later on if you want to see the actual cook. I'm actually going to show you how we injected the chicken with some uh, Creole butter and then also how we put a little bit of rub on the uh, baby back ribs and also how we pulled that... Um, membrane the skin off the back side of it so check this video video out and like and subscribe if you enjoyed it thank you all right this is right after we fired up the uh, grill here and got the charcoal down we also added some apple chunks and some cherry chunks I go back and add hickory a little bit later on, but the fire was a little bit high right here, but this is right when I first put those chunks on there. All right, if you've never fixed spatchcock chicken, uh, you got to get you some good sharp shears here some scissors and you want to cut just along the side of that backbone um, these were not the sharpest I've ever had I had to stop and resharpen them but again just showing you real quick how you cut that that backbone out that neck and the whole backbone and spread this thing out spread it out uh, push it down uh, and then we're getting ready to inject it here but again this is just how I do mine uh, when it's all said and done the chicken gets really tender it starts popping apart but um, again, just how I do mine. Thank you. All right, I like to use Tony's injectable Creole butter. That's one of my favorites I use on turkeys around Thanksgiving. Uh, it's about $4. It's not that expensive. Uh, I've also used a stick of butter and salt, salted butter. But when you stick this in here, you want to move it around in the same hole up and down. You can see the breast on this is starting to blow up as I 
as I inject it. And it's one of those things I always try to do as you're you're moving the needle around inside, you're pushing in at the same time slowly. So you'll see this press right here kind of blow up. Uh, as soon as I move my hand, you'll see the this thing blow up um, and fill this thing full of this Creole butter. And to me, it just gives it, it's not too hot. It's not a, a real spicy, but it keeps it nice and uh, moist in my opinion. All right, now we're going to put some seasoning on this, and this is one of my my favorite, and it's Slap Yo Mamas. You can buy this at Walmart. You can buy it on the line with Amazon. Slap Yo Mama. If you put too much on here, it's got a little bit of heat to it. But what I like to do on my chicken is I like to pull that skin up a little bit on the breast and make a, a, a cavity inside of there with your, your, your thumbs or your, your two index fingers, or your index fingers, sorry, and just put that seasoning down in there and get it good all over that chicken breast underneath the skin. So this this adds, lets it soak into that meat while it's cooking. The skin protects it from burning. Uh, just one of my favorites. I love this Slap Your Mama Creole. There's other, you know, use whatever your favorite dusting is. All right, so we're going to pull this membrane, this silver skin, off the back of these baby back ribs. And a lot of people have seen, have done this or seen it on YouTube, but I take a case knife, knife and go underneath around the, between the third and the fifth rib on the, on the largest side of the rib. And just get that thing going up a little bit. Then you stick your, your finger up underneath it to pull it up. And then we'll take some uh, paper towel and pull this off and this is just hit or miss sometimes it works really well sometimes it just pulls off this situation I got most of it off but I did have to go back and pull um, a top part of this off but it did mostly come off but you want that off so that your seasoning can get inside of that your rub whatever you're using to put on it plus that smoke and the fire to come up there and, and touch it and kiss it uh, but you want you want that off of there that's definitely not a good thing uh, when I first did ribs first time I accidentally left it on and had to do some research and I was like man you know why didn't I understand that or know that but again that's that's something you have to get off of there sometimes you can buy them they're already off and then other times you have to do it yourself but again it's not that hard take a case knife underneath the third to fifth rib and then just take a pair, uh, paper towel and pull that off you definitely want it off though All right, to use a slather or not, I've used olive oil. I'm a big, big fan of um, mustard. So coming up here, you'll see that I take some mustard and, and put this all over the ribs. And then I'll put my favorite rub on here. Or actually, this is not one of my favorite rubs. It's a rub that I had given to me. But it, uh, it actually, these ribs, I, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, these baby back ribs were incredible. So all I did was took some French's mustard coat it on both sides rub it in real good and then you'll see the two different rubs I use both of these you can buy them at Lowe's um, department store uh, you can order them online I'd never even use this you know rub some butt I'd never even used this before my sister had gave it to me as a kind of a joke at Christmas time but I tried it out and it's got actually mustard seasoning and then salt and garlic in it but it actually was really good and I normally don't layer my ribs but I layered this with that first and then came back with some McCormick uh, apple rub that I actually got it, I think it's Sam's Club. Again, extremely good. I'm doing low carb. That apple rub had a little bit of sugar in it, but not a whole lot. 
So this whole meal that you're seeing is, is, is diabetic friendly and it's also um, friendly on low carb or a keto diet. So again, this is just something I like to do. Use your favorite rub that you want to use. I've heard Dinks is really good. I've never tried it before. Hey, if you want to send me a rub and I'll try it and build a video on it, I'll be glad to do that too. But again, this McCormick's, believe it or not, for something you can buy at your local grocery store at, or a, 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 like a Home Depot or a Lowe's, actually turned out really well. I got this at Sam's Club, I believe. All right, so what I've been waiting on for a long time is firing up this Santa Maria. Well, I've already seasoned it. I did a video on that earlier um, in, in when I first picked this thing up. But uh, I've got some charcoal briquettes that I've got in here. And I'm the Kingsford, and I'm firing them up with a weed burner. Um, I actually bought some um, uh, lump charcoal that I'm going to use on my next cook. I'm actually going to cook some this afternoon. I'm probably going to do some burgers and some brats. But... Um, again, love this Shirley fabrication. Look at this. How, look at all the airflow you got up underneath there. Um, so that thing can breathe really well. So again, love my 48 by 30 Santa Maria grill. It's my next go-to. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of videos coming out on it. Here you can see it's it's running 350, and I'm just using the left side of this grill instead of taking the whole grill. And then here we're throwing on our our baby back ribs. And then we're going to throw in our two spotcat, spatchcat uh, chickens on here. Um, and this cold cook took about an hour on the baby back ribs, about an hour and 15 minutes on the spatchcock chicken. And then I also throw some zucchini on here at the very end. you talking about really good. Um, I've done this before on my smoker, but I tried this here on the Santa Maria, and it turned out excellent. And on that, you have... Uh, yellow squash, onions, sweet onions, and zucchini. Normally we put potatoes in there as well. You need to try that recipe. I'm doing low carbs. So I couldn't have the potatoes, but it turned out excellent as well. You'll see it towards the very end of here, uh, especially on my plate, but as we're cooking it. Um, here we're just letting the fire. we got the apple chunks in here. In a little while you're going to see me throw on... Um, I've got three big onions in here. I've heard this rumor about onions uh, adding moisture to your fire. I tried that. The smell was incredible. I love the sizzling sound of this meat coming down. I mean, the juices from the, from the rendering of the chicken and the ribs going down on that fire. That's one thing I love about the Santa Maria. But that smell, when I, when I put those onions on there, and that moisture coming up from those onions uh, adding to that meat, I thought it was incredible. I heard that's actually an old trick that the fair at the fairs they do. They take onions and throw them on a fire to get everybody fired up about coming and visiting them. But it, it actually worked out really well for me. Definitely going to do it going forward. If it worked or didn't work or if it was had anything to do with it, I don't know.
All right, I mentioned this earlier about the zucchini and the butter and the onions and the yellow squash. We got that on there now, heating up from underneath it. Um, and then if you can look underneath, you see those onions in there I put on top of that fire. I uh, put three huge onions on that fire. Man, it smells so great. Um, makes me want to go to the fair just to... I wish you could scratch and sniff this video right here. <laughs> the smell is so great. Um, you got to try this out. Uh, I, I really hate that I've missed out over the years over Santa Maria. Um, and I'm not getting paid or anything by the Shirley Boys or Shirley Fabrication, Paula Tyler. This thing is awesome. And, and I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to start cooking on it more and more. But just the whole man fire thing, it's, it's just a man thing. But hey, look at these ribs right here, man. They got a great bend on them. Yeah, the underside's a little bit black, but it's not, it's not like a burnt char taste or anything. Um, but got a great bend on these ribs. These things are done. We're getting ready to take them off. Uh, we had an in, internal temp. I think it was around 200 on, on when I tested those. But got a great bend on those. We put them, wrap them in a, in a big uh, full pan, and send them over to the All right, so shortly after the ribs were done, we're checking the temps here on the chicken, and we got that breast up to over 165 degrees. Um, we cooked, a, cooked the thighs a little bit longer. Probably went up to about 175 on them. Uh, but again, we put these in a full pan, wrapped them, put them back on the smoker while we're finishing up the um, zucchini and onions and butter and the uh, yellow squash. So. Uh, everything was right on point, right on temp, so don't try to look at the temp I, that I'm probing right here and say, oh, that was under temp. Everything was perfect. It tasted great. Uh, again, now, one trick right here on the zucchini is we put this aluminum foil up, and I left a little bit of it up so that when the smoke comes up from underneath, it still goes in and gets that zucchini and squash flavor and, and that smoke in there. Here, I poured on a little bit of the Creole butter on top of the chicken at the very end, right before we pulled it off and just let that, that goodness soak down in on it and hit that fire and come up. Um, no doubt, this is one of the best meals I've ever cooked. Uh, and I've done a lot of catering jobs over the year, had a lot of family functions. Um, I, you know, sometimes when you cook, you have a good cook or a bad cook. Here's, here's a good picture of how that smoke was coming up underneath uh, and getting in that zucchini and squash and onions. But sometimes you have good cooks and sometimes they're bad cooks or maybe not a bad cook, some are better than others. But this was definitely one of the best cooks I've ever had. Now we got the zucchini on by itself, and it's it's done to um, try this out, definitely try it out. If you can eat potatoes, cut up some small potatoes. Or All right, so now we're gonna cut up these baby back ribs. Man, they were so juicy and great. I'll give you my opinion on them here in a second. That's good. Killer. Santa Maria, Shirley Fabrication. Meat and fire, good stuff. Man, look at the juices on those baby back ribs. Man, doesn't that look great? I'm telling you, they, they tasted better than they look. And now we're getting ready to cut it in this chicken. This chicken, you couldn't tell was as juicy as, as it really is. But, man, that Creole butter in there was awesome. Uh, Mm. All right, I'm gonna try it. Uh, still hot. Huh? That's good. Really moist. 
Fat boy know how to get fat. Good stuff. All right, thank you for checking out our video on a one-hour cook on spatchcock chicken and baby back ribs on the Santa Maria grill made by Shirley Fabrication. Definitely one of my best cooks. You got to try this out. Try out the little tips I gave you along the way. But again, thank you guys for subscribing. Go ahead and hit that, that bell so you'll get a, a notification whenever we post videos. But we're going to be showing you a lot of food and travel videos coming up. We love to eat. We love to cook. We love to travel. We love life. So join the Fat Life, Love His Fat Life, Food and Travel Channel. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next side.